What's up beautiful boys and girls? It's Chris from Kai Artistry and welcome to today's video. So if this is your first time joining us and you love all things beauty with zero judgments, please hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. So for today's video, we're just going to dive right in. We are going to be swatching Jaclyn Hill's new liquid lipsticks. Now, I am so excited to do this. I've been wanting to do this. I've just been had a super crazy week. Um, happy Easter, by the way, to everybody. If you celebrate that, I, we do in this household. So happy Easter. It's been a crazy busy day. I host Easter at my house. So I have been up since the crack of dawn and pretty much didn't go to bed until two o'clock. So <laughs> please excuse this as always. All right, so, okay. Jaclyn Hill just recently launched um, lipstick 2.0 and we all know what happened with lipstick gate we're not going to get into all that negativity so if that's what you've come to watch we're not gonna talk about other people right here right now so sorry but um yeah this is like her redemption moment and I love hate the fact she did liquid lipsticks because I really wanted those um bullet lipsticks the they look so creamy and the people that didn't get like messed up ones like they just love them and i love the colors and but she's never gonna do them again maybe she'll relaunch like different colors and a different formula who knows but we got these and we're just gonna dive right in and one thing that i wanted to mention is this is without fancy lighting or a YouTube studio or any crazy filters. This is just natural home lighting on me. And we're just so you can really see what it's going to look like in a real normal setting, so to speak, without all that bells and whistles. We're, we're just going to get for it and dive right in. I'm just going to grab, I've already unboxed them and they're kind of not in order, but I was going to do from light to dark, but I kind of messed them up when I was getting set up. So I honestly, a lot of them, they're basically all neutral nudes. So I guess, I mean, they're all very similar to most people, but to us people that are beauty obsessed, I know you're out there. They are all so different. Okay. So we're going to start with the first one, which is, I think the lightest shade in the collection. Nudie, nudie. Now I got to say the packaging, I love it. Simple, sleek, black with the rose gold, gorga. And I loved it when I opened the bottle and I was just like, yes, yes, girl, go on with your bad self. I love it. So I like, I love everything about it. It's, it's heavy. It like, it feels luxurious but still relatable. It's beautiful. Now we're going to swatch on this arm because you can't really swatch. That one's already painted to all high heck. Now keep in mind, I am a little bit tan. This is going to be messy. I'm not left-handed. I'm not left-handed. This is the perfect middle of your lip color for that fuller, mm, juicy lip, which I think she said in her video. Um, Oh, I get so lost in these videos sometimes, and that is nudie. Now, I am a little bit tan right now. I am super fair to begin with. I have a spray tan right now, so I'm like a medium golden, and my undertone is neutral, so it may not, it may look different on you and your skin tone than it would me, per se, but that's just what I am, just so you know. I Like, on the neutral scale, there's like neutral, there's warm, there's cool. I'm not dead, so I'm like just a smidge, smidge closer to the warm side of the neutral than the cool, like I do more warm colors. Okay, the next color we got is Get Real. And I, I you know what, I love these shade names too, just saying. They're so her. Now we're gonna do Get Real right under. Oh, oh, I like that color, that is beautiful. Now these are reading a little bit lighter on camera in person. This one's a lot more peach, but sometimes it's good to see it in this lighting. Cause you know, what do you usually do when you got your lipstick on? You take a picture, you know, and unedited. So it's going to look like if you have a skin tone like me. Now, unfortunately I do not have every single color. What I did is buy the majority of them, more than half, but only the colors I would really, really use. I didn't want to buy a color 
just to buy it when pretty much they all sold out like almost immediately and when somebody else would give it a loving home rather than just sit there and add to my makeup collection and basically just watch it and leave it unusable. The next color we have is, oh hi, which is exactly how she said it's pronounced. Ooh, ooh, that's beautiful. That one's a little less terracotta, more pink that I'm gonna wear. Mm. Love these shades, I love them. The formula, now, this isn't a first like impressions kind of thing really, because I actually did wear one today for Easter, which is currently on my lips, still. 12 hours later, I, the formula, the formula, you guys, I am, and speaking of, <laughs> the one I grabbed, Confidence, is the one I'm wearing right now. I thought I grabbed a different color, but this is the one, and I love it. I love the color on myself. I didn't even want to put lip gloss on. Now, this is possibly, I'm, I can almost 100% with confidence. <laughs> I know, made my corny jokes, say that this is my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick formula of all time. It is, oh God, I love that shade. Oh yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. Sorry for the messy swatches. She gorgeous, I love her. Okay, so I put this on. Liquid lipsticks are usually very drying. Like even, you know, no matter how hard you try, they're, they're gonna be dry. This is the most comfortable liquid lip I've ever worn. And I've tried a lot, a lot. All the big brands, all the drugstore brands, I have tried them all. From NYX to the dollar store to freaking Tom Ford, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which I absolutely love. And so many, just so many. And this, it is so comfortable. It is not drying at all. It is so comfortable, lightweight, feels almost moisturizing. I do not know how they made this, but I cannot wait to get more colors from her when she starts to do more. It is just, uh, it feels amazing, basically, is the first thing. This is I'm a Cancer, which I am not. I am a Gemini, but she is a Cancer, hence a couple of her shade names came from that. That seems very similar to the top one with just a smidge more brown in it. Love it. I love all these colors. I love them all. I will wear them all. They And I love the fact she did this. I love the fact she stuck with the nudes and the really neutral undertones. So pretty much everybody, honestly, even the shades that I didn't get, which were a lot of the darker shades, I think almost every person who goes and buys one of these can find a shade that looks good on them. I really do. This is shade Gratitude. Now, besides how it feels, it smells delicious. It is not over, it's the faintest, sweet, cream cheese frosting scent almost. Ooh, this one's really pretty. That's a little bit more rich, like a brown. And that is shade Gratitude, because she's grateful for her second chance. Love it. But besides all of that, this has been on my mouth. One coat for over 12 hours now. Easter Sunday, I didn't just wear this for a couple hours and just do nothing. I have cooked. I have mashed potatoes. I have been over steam and working and cleaning and eating everything. I have eaten Easter lunch. I have eaten Easter dinner. I have drank out of drinks with straws. I have drinks out of soda cans, water bottles. I have had cupcakes that you cannot help but get on your lip. I have ate it all. I have smooched my children. I have kissed my fiance a million times. I have put these through the ringer and this is still on. It might need a little tiny touch up, 12 hours. Look at this. That is amazing. I do not know how she clicked every box for me. She literally did. Uh, this is the perfect for me. It really is. Next shade is absolutely. Sorry, I'm like tooting her horn so much. I forget why we're here. <laughs> Sorry, okay, we're going down the arm. Absolutely, you're gonna go right here. Absolutely, you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. I'm wearing her tomorrow. Yep, yep, yep. Now, all that said, I just, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. She really did that. Her redemption is clicked, it's done, and she can go home now. 
I seriously cannot wait till she expands her shade range. This is Truth. Oh, that sound. And the Dova is so perfectly, it's not too big, it's not too small. It is, I have such an easy time drawing on my lips. That is shade Truth. A little bit more on the pinky side. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That like gorgeous. Mm. And we have um, four more. I actually bought a double of one of them by accident because I kept this one actually crabby because I was so nervous because like it was so talked about, so hyped up. I was like, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. So I would buy three, hit, finish order, go back, buy three more, finish order. And I did that like four or five times, no lie. But it's funny because obviously they figured out it was me because they all came in the same box. All right, Krabby, go back to the I am a Cancer, hence the crowd. Oh yeah, that's that's my girl right there. That is the shade that I love. I love those terracotta pink shades. The nudie ones with the nice neutral undertone. That is like my favorite go-to color of all time, of all time. We just got three more. Okay, this is the darkest shade I got, which is Be Bold. It's, I think, like a coffee color. All right, now this is what we're here to talk about, obviously, but can we just say a uh, mystery box? Mystery box day, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, because I know y'all love that. That is coming soon, as soon as I get it that day. Ooh, look at that gorgeous toffee color. Ooh, she looks like melted Hershey chocolate on my arm, and I kind of want to eat it, especially with the way this smells. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh. Love it. It's like, you know, like what, like lip snackers, like vanilla cupcakes smell like it was so sweet and good, but so overpowering in like the worst way. This is her elegant, very demure, much more bougie older sister. Yes. Be brave. So if you don't like scents, it shouldn't bother you. Okay. Be brave. You are gone, girl. Oh, this is going to be fun to wash off. Okay. Be brave. Ooh, I like her. I love the story behind this. You'll have to go back and watch her like reveal video. Be brave, be brave. We're being brave right now. But back to what I was saying before we get to the last one that I have. Um, yeah, so on launch day for Jeffree Star, the mystery boxes, it was like the Hunger Games. Do, do, do. The Mockingbird, yeah, I'm horrible, yes. Um, I got the extreme, so I've got all the boxes. So, Lots of giveaways I think are going to be coming because I literally just pretty much rounded up. I only need a couple more, like less than 10. And then I will have every Jeffree Star liquid lip ever made to complete my collection. They're very common ones. I purposely went and got all the rare ones first. So I would have them. I paid a ridiculous amount for Zombie Kiss, but I had to have it. It's so hard to find. And it was brand new, sealed in a box. So I couldn't complain because it's literally the hardest one to find. That Soul Sucker and a couple of the mystery shades, but I got them all. I got them all. So I just need to get like stupid simple ones that are like part of the main collection. Last one we got is Outspoken, which she wore on an earlier video, which she couldn't say what it was, and I love that color. And I wanna see, I thought this was the color I grabbed today, because I love that on camera. Like even before she said it was, um, oh, it's even just as beautiful in person. Mm. When she was doing that video, it was like a, just some regular makeup tutorial. She's like, I can't tell you what's on my lips. And but as soon as the camera turned on, I was like, I need, I don't know what she's wearing. Where's it in the description? I don't know, but I need it. I need it. And then she said that. I'm like, that's what made me follow this journey to get to these was because of this color right here. It is so beautiful. It's like that beautiful rose terracotta. Mm. It is everything, everything. Now, that's all of them that I got, you guys. Like I said, I think there's only a couple more. I probably maybe I will get them because this formula is just so great. It's starting to dry down now. Very staying very true to color. Sometimes they dry down completely different. It's insane. Like just like some foundations, but these are staying very true to how they looked when they were wet. They're basically finishing up. Here it is, you guys, in just regular house lighting on my light to medium neutral skin tone with a little tiny spray tan. That's what they look like. Beautiful shades. Now, unfortunately, 
I saved the lip liners because I thought those were going to go first. And I had probably, I think I had 10 lip liners in my cart. Go to checkout, waiting, waiting, waiting. When I get to pay, they all sold out except for one. I was so sad. If I had known that, I would have done lip liners first because basically the majority of those colors were still available after I was done checking out. So this is the only one. I think it was literally the only one that was in stock the next day, which is Toasty, which I'm surprised. It is the perfect, beautiful brown that goes with everything. But I thought this was gonna be the most popular one. They must have ordered extra of these because it's such a good color. So unfortunately, this is the only lip liner that we will be swatching. I love a brown nude. I wear it with everything, especially nice light color. Like you could wear this with pretty much any of those colors and it would look good. Honestly, every single one of them. I get so nervous with opening pencils. I'm like, oh my God, don't break. These are not retractable. These are sharpenable, which I bought a sharpener special just for these because these are, like, they got that almost waxy pencil, I believe. Yeah, that's what they have. When you have lip liners like this, it's like a waxy pencil. And it's a soft but firm, creamy um, liner. Now let's see, I haven't opened this or tried this, so I'm gonna actually put it down here real quick so because I wanna see. Oh, yes, girl, yes. It goes on gorgeous, non-tugging, non-patchy. So easy to glide. Beautiful, perfect pigmentation. Look at that. Love it. It it may seem dark, but it's a lip liner. Once you put on lipstick, it doesn't it doesn't read that dark. It is the perfect liner. The perfect neutral brown liner. Toasty. There's a little bit of close-up. Let me kind of dip out here. They're pretty much all dry, except for around the edges. There they are, in all their glory. Now, yeah, so uh, Jaclyn Hill girl, you killed it, you crushed it. I will continue to buy these. Like I said, try it for yourself. If you're not sure, buy one, buy one. And just once you feel how these feel and how long they last, and I'm talking about there wasn't lipstick on my fork. I wasn't tasting it. It didn't get on my teeth. It wasn't on my glasses or my soda. I try it for yourself if you don't believe me and you will become a believer. It is the most comfortable liquid lip I think in the world. She could probably put that on the box because it is legitimately that good. And for most of the big YouTubers that I've seen reviewing these, they pretty much, you know, just try one on and include it in a makeup tutorial and I wanted to show you guys as many as I possibly could for real people in a real setting because you know not everybody's got those million dollar lights and all those fancy things so this is what they look like boom 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 and that's pretty much it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like it please and leave a comment down below tell me what your favorite shade is tell me if you're gonna pick them up who knows and please keep a lookout for our next video which will probably depending on when it comes in be um our mystery box unboxing for Jeffree Star Cosmetics and we know what follows those giveaways giveaways for all so don't forget to keep a lookout for those videos and i love you all happy easter once again bye